Bullseye is coming along well, but right now there's a problem. The random target value never changes. It's always the same random value we get when we first start the app. We'll fix that by generating a new random target value each time the user taps the Hit Me button. Let's take a look at how we can do this, and in the process, we'll encounter our first bug in the app. So currently this random value here is only random the first time the app is run. What we want it to be is random every time the user guesses we want a new random value, right? So the naive way of fixing this is to go to where the button is pressed, and we'll just say, okay, well, we want a new random value, right? So self.target equals int.random in one up into 100. Okay, well, let's build and run and see what happens here. All right, so it says, put the bullseye as close as you can to 20. And I'm actually gonna bring a little text editor here to keep track of things. So our target is 20. Okay, and I'm gonna put what we're, we're about to guess. So let's, this looks to me somewhere around 20, right? Okay, so actually I got it exactly right. So the slider's value is 20. So what's my expected points? Well, it would be 20 minus 20 is zero. That's the difference. And it'll be 100 minus zero, so I should get 100 points. But my actual points is 54. What's happening here? Well, see if you can notice anything behind the scenes. This says, put the bullseye as close as you can to 66. So literally, as soon as I clicked hit me, it already updated this target value to a new target of 66. So the new target is 66. So what happened here is the old difference is basically 66 minus 20 equals 46. And then 100 minus 46 is 54. So the calculation for our score happened after we already got a new target. To better understand what happened here, let's look at the button code again. Here we have four lines of code that run when the button is tapped. It prints a message, it sets alert is visible as true, and then it updates the score and the target. However, something subtle happens behind the scenes when alert is visible is set to true. Let's take a look. Remember that alert is visible is a at state variable. So that means when it's updated, the UI needs to be refreshed so that the UI is always consistent with the state. That means that when alert is visible is set to true, the program does two things. First, the program continues to execute the rest of the code in buttons action method, which updates the score and sets a new random target. Second, shortly thereafter, the UI refreshes itself to be consistent with the state, making the pop-up occur. But here's the problem. When we go to refresh the UI, we see we need to present an alert. So we calculate the points, which compares the slider value to the target value. But at this stage, the target value has already been updated to a new random number for the new round, rather than staying at the old random value. This causes the calculation to be incorrect. To fix this, we need to have better control over the timing here. We don't want to update the total score and the target value until after the user has tapped the awesome button on the alert. Let's see how we can fix this bug. So what we want to happen is we want to have some code that is executed after you dismiss this alert. Now, the way you do this is there is actually an ability to specify when you're creating this default dismiss button a block of code that is executed when you tap that button. And the way you do this is you just put two curly braces there. Now be careful where you put it. You wanna have it two close parentheses and then these two curly braces because this block of code that's gonna be called is tied to this dismiss button. And then you want to have the parentheses to close out the alert itself. So make sure you have that. And now that we have that, we can take the score and the target and cut those lines and paste them down here. And so the score and the target will not be updated now until the dismiss button is tapped. So let's go ahead and give that a try, build and run. Okay, 21, this is as close as I can get 21, hit me. So I was 18, so I was three away and I did score 97 points this round and this didn't change by the way. Now I'm gonna click awesome. 
This is updated to a new random value, and now the score is also updated to the new amount, just the way we want. Perfect.